Greetings from the Libby Gallery. I'm Kathy Buchholz, and I'm honored to give you a preview of some of the amazing artwork and artists who show their work in the center, adjacent to your Colfax Library. We've been closed due to coronavirus and hope to reopen soon. In the meantime, we thought it'd be fun to show you some of the amazing artwork we have on display. Most of the works are for sale, so don't hesitate to give us a call if you have any questions about the artwork you see or the gallery in general. Our number is 509-397-4366. The first artist we'll feature today is Vicki Brockle of Dusty, who finds her inspiration in the rolling farmland of the Palouse. She's busy now painting springtime scenes for when the gallery reopens. In the meantime, we're sharing her beautiful autumn scene of a dry creek bed outside of Colfax. Molly Rice is a Colfax artist and photographer who expresses her creativity in a way that allows her audience to see a subject the way that Molly sees it. Molly's current photography show is called Edges and Corners. Note how the images capture the unique lines and shadows of the architecture. Ken Carper is a retired architecture professor from WSU who loves photographing the Palouse. His image, Last Light on an October evening, was taken atop Steptoe Butte just as the setting sun broke through a thick cloud cover. It illustrates the uniqueness of the Palouse landscape where boundaries between properties and crops are not rectilinear but rather magnificent curves following the contours. Marla Ma Robbins has been drawing and painting for more than 50 years. Her work has shown in shows and galleries nationwide, and her work featured by wildlife foundations and magazines. Her painting, A Boy's Best Friend, shows the tender connection between children and animals. The young boy and his dad's workhorse had a very close friendship, and sometimes the big fella just wanted a scratch around his ears. Marla's husband, Russ Robbins, is an artist as well. His rustic artwork comes from wagon wheels, the bodies of old cars, shovels, tools, or other items he finds in his shop. Here you see some of Russ's one-of-a-kind lamps, including Dad's blacksmith shop. Additional artists showing their work include Gabriella Ball, Nancy Rothwell, Sharon Lindsay, Bob Krikak, Carrie VL, Dan Codd, and Tom Moore. Thanks for joining us today. We hope to see you in person very soon. Again, don't hesitate to call us at 509-397 4366 for more information.